Okay, here we have an example of solving for density. Now in our problem that's given to us, it's asking us to calculate the density of an object that has a mass of 24.0 grams and a volume of 6.0 milliliters. So calculate the density is what they're asking us to in turn solve for. Uh, since we're going to solve for density, we're going to use the density formula, which is mass divided by volume. A lot of times we can shorten that up just by using D for density, M for mass, and V for volume. Now what you want to do is take a look at what you know and what you don't know in the problem that's given to you. So if you're asked for calculating the density, density is what you do not know. That's what you're trying to solve for. The mass of 24.0 grams is given to you. Mass of this object is 24.0 grams. And the volume is also given to you where they say volume of 6.0 milliliters. Volume equals 6.0 milliliters. Now that you know what you're trying to solve for and the information that is given to you, you can just go ahead and the good old plug and chug. If we <laughs> have the formula of mass divided by volume, equals the density. Well, we know the mass that has been given to us and we can write that directly into the equation divided by the volume which is 6.0 milliliters 24.0 grams divided by 6.0 milliliters the density gives us a final answer of 4.0 grams per milliliters. Notice that grams per milliliter are both included in this derived unit of density neither one of them have been canceled out throughout this process and if you take a look at significant figures there are three significant figures on the top and there is a value of two significant figures on the bottom half of this fraction so again to review sig figs if you have you have a value of three sig figs divided by a value of two sig figs you're going to keep the lowest numbers of sig figs in your problem which would be two sig figs and it's always a great idea to box in your answer or circle it and you're done. The density is 4.0 grams per milliliter.